I've always greatly enjoyed working with Gujiai. Organizing festival affairs generally takes a lot of effort and doesn't generate much income, but Gujiai's events always come off both elegant and profitable. Ayaka once asked me during a ritual at the shrine if I could prepare some fireworks for the Lady Guji's leisure. I thought to myself, isn't the Lady Guji supposed to sit inside the shrine throughout the ritual? So I watched her the whole time during the ritual, wondering how she'd like to release fireworks. I waited and I waited, and then Ayaka came over at length to tell me that the Lady Guji was most pleased. I mean, what? She'd already released the fireworks? Was the person sitting inside the shrine not her then? <sighs> She's always patting me on the head. I've never bitten her though, or even said anything, because I'm frightened of how she'd react if I stood up to her. But what am I gonna do? Because if she keeps on patting my head, I'm gonna get stuck at this height forever! Ah, that girl. She used to be the kind of person who could easily be swayed with some fried tofu. It's a relief to see how shrewd and resourceful she's now become. Still, I have to admit that I was a little upset to become the target of her scheming myself. <sighs> I know it was for my own good, but I'm afraid she will mock me the next time we meet. Perhaps I should take the initiative and strike her first. Hmm, she'll dodge it anyway. Gujiai's actions often leave me with many questions. Nevertheless, the fact that she is the head shrine maiden of the Grand Narukami Shrine clearly shows the level of trust and approval that the Shogun places in her, and for this reason, I also greatly respect her. But... There ever comes a day when she disobeys the Shogun's will. Then please, accept my apologies in advance. I have also heard of Gujiya's great deeds. In all fairness, I hold her to be an outstanding Shrine Maiden, and she has performed her duties marvelously. I even heard that she holds responsibility where Yai Publishing House's light novels are concerned. An enigmatic individual, to say the least. Lady Miko? Uh, what about her? <sighs> Every time Miss Kamisato sends me out to deliver messages, my least favorite destination is the Grand Narukami Shrine. Oh, uh, not because Lady Miko scares the bejeebers out of me. It's, uh, <laughs> respect. Yes, she strikes respect deep into my heart. <laughs> Oh, her. Uh, I'd prefer not to talk about her. Can we change the topic? Or if there are any tasks I can take off your hand, I'll gladly oblige. Anything at all. <clears throat> Let's just say it'd be best for my general well-being if we can avoid talking about her. I crushed that Kitsune ramen eating contest we had. Even all that fried tofu couldn't stand in my way. <laughs> she didn't come close to beating me. I was, uh, bedridden for more than a month after that. But you know what? I'd rather lie in bed a winner than walk away a loser. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, I had the last laugh because she had to foot the bill for 32 bowls of noodles. Ha ha!